So Ryan, delighted to be joined by you. Uh, firstly, tell me how it feels to finally be eligible to play for Ireland. Um, well, it feels amazing, obviously. Um, it was quite the long wait, um, but definitely worth it. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly don't think it's, it's sunk in yet. I think playing with the team and putting the, the shirt on will definitely be nerve wracking, but very exciting for the first time. Um, but yeah, now I'm, now I'm just concentrated on, on the next time I can, I can play with the team, which yeah, I'm very excited for. Yours is a bit of an unusual case for someone so young to have such a public profile of how this journey has, has gone. Perhaps you can tell those who don't know, just tell us about your journey from Luxembourg right to being eligible to play for Ireland. Well, I was uh, born in Luxembourg to an Irish mother and a Swedish father. So that's where I get all three nationalities. Um, and I mean, I, I started playing with the Luxembourg national team, which was a, a very good step in the sense of getting me to a better club. Um, that was always their focus, I think, with their players, that outside of Luxembourg is the key team-wise. Um, and yeah, then I played with a, a French team, Mets. Then I went to Germany with Bayern Munich, and now I'm in Spain in Seville. So I've moved it around quite a lot, quite an international um, football life. Um, and yeah, I just got the all okay to play for Ireland, which obviously is, is very good news. And those, those uh, teams you mentioned there, Mets, Bayern Munich, and obviously mm -hmm. your current club, Sevilla, that's some pedigree of teams. I, you can imagine from, just from the pedigree of teams, there's a lot of fans who are quite excited by like the fact you, you look to declare for Ireland. Yeah, I mean, those teams really set me up for, for where I am today. Definitely the coaching. You know, I, I've noticed the difference as well in the coaching between countries. Um, and I think from all four different countries that I've been in playing football, it's, it's helped me a lot, helped me develop a lot in that sense. Um, and yeah, I only have those clubs to thank. Um, yeah, I, I do feel that, that um, you know, Spain is now the best place for me, I think, um, in my play style. Um, so yeah, I'm thankful that I am kind of ended up here. Um, but yeah, the, the the past teams have definitely set me up well. You know, we we look at Luxembourg now. It, it's an emerging nation. Sweden, great talent pool of, of players. Mm -hmm. What is it about Ireland that made you go through this whole process, work so hard to make sure that you were going to be a potential for for an Irish election? Well, of course, it's it's multiple reasons, um, and it was never easy to kind of turn down a nation and a country that you know I've loved and I'm very patriotic for all three countries that I am eligible for um, but I do feel more attached to Ireland in a sense um, you know I have a lot of family there and um, my mom is of course Irish um, but also football wise I think is of course a very important um, factor that was brought into the decision um, and just the professionalism of how the Irish coaches handled everything and the Irish um, staff and the FAI and just everything setting me up to be able to play for Ireland. Um, and definitely playing with Ireland in the under-19s was an amazing experience. I think I was welcomed very well into the team through the coaches and the players. Um, so just multiple kind of reasons that that made me make the decision but once it came down to it once you know my parents asked me the question like who do you really want to play for like well what is your final decision and it was it was a no-brainer in the sense of, of choosing Ireland and that's where my heart kind of wanted to go it's fantastic to hear and um but was there a time when you didn't feel that get over the line of course that's where your heart that's where your heart wanted to go, but was there a time you were looking to yourself thinking, I'm not sure this is going to happen? 100%. There was definitely a time. I mean, the, this past year and, and last year was a time where I, I thought that there was no chance. I, I'd kind of given up on in that sense. And um, 
my parents as well, they, they had definitely kind of closed that door in a sense due to the due to FIFA saying that I wasn't eligible. Um, so it's been a, a tough process in a sense, but it definitely feels, you know, very worth it and very rewarding at the end of everything now that it's finally all okay and that I am able to play for Ireland. Now you're available for Ireland. What are your hopes and ambitions now for a, uh, to be in a future Ireland international? Well, I think it's, I mean, like most national teams, I want to play in, in the European Championship. I want to play in, uh, in the World Cup. Um, and I think anything is possible with the talent that's coming through with, with Ireland right now. You see a lot of young players playing in the first team. Um, and I think it's a big advantage for, for Ireland moving forward. So I hope and I think that, that Ireland can do amazing things with, uh, with football. And hopefully some, some trophies, some silverware would be the ultimate, the ultimate goal.